continuing our discussion of debuggers that are good for reversing, another option is called X64 Debugger or X64 DBG. It's open source, which is often a good thing. It also comes in two versions. It has a 32-bit and 64-bit Windows version. It also runs very well under Linux. So how do you get it? You can search for it, as always, or if you go to sourceforge.net projects x64 dbg, you will get to their main page. You can go ahead and click on download, which will take you to a page similar to this, where there will be some advertising displayed. If you have problems, there's a direct link you can click on. Once you're done, you will have a 7-zip file. Go ahead and click on that and extract it. Notice, once again, there is no main directory. So when you go to extract it, be careful and make sure that you're extracting it into a subdirectory. You don't want to pollute your system. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and install it here. Extract that. I'm going to go ahead and skip it because I've already downloaded this. You can run this from Wine. Go to the appropriate directory. If you do a listing, you'll notice there is a plugin directory and a release directory. You go to the release directory, you will see some funny things. You will see x96dbg.exe, and you'll also see subdirectories with x32 and x64. You can try to run x96 directly, and it will try to pick, or if you have trouble, you can just change to one of these directories. And if you look at the listing in those directories, you will see another executable. So for example, here is my 32-bit executable. Incidentally, they appear as green indicating they're executable. If yours does not, you might have to run this command, chmod change mode plus x, and just go ahead and make everything that's a .exe executable by saying star .exe. After you've done that, you should be able to run wine and then your executable. And you get something that once again starts to look very familiar. So here we have an application. And as we've done before, we will actually open this debugger in itself. You'll notice that the settings aren't the best for the screen resolution that I'm using for these videos. So as you might expect, I could go into Options Appearance, and I could change that font. Make it larger, I could use a different font, etc. So we've presented quite a few debuggers so far. There are certainly more out there. You'll notice they do look very similar, but they have slightly different features. So you might want to pick one that works for you and go from there. We'll take another short break. And when we come back, we'll talk about some more exciting reversing tools.